Narcissism will not take accountability. And one way that they avoid accountability is by projecting blame of every situation, every argument, every conflict or anything in their life onto you or onto other people in situations. Narcissistic people absolutely will not accept that they have done anything wrong in a situation. Narcissists never take responsibility. And in fact, they will blame you or other people or other situations for the very thing that it is that they're doing. My name is Lise Colucci and I am here to help you understand and transform your life after being around toxic people and narcissists. So, okay, one way that the narcissistic person will avoid accountability in any form of conflict or from anything that they've done is through deflecting. They will pretend that you're not talking about the very thing that is the problem. One way that narcissistic avoid taking any accountability and deflect and project onto any argument, conflict, or situation is by putting the focus on other things. Deflecting, look over there, that didn't happen, that's going on. Why are we talking about this? Let's talk about that. Why are you talking about that still? That was a long time ago. This is what we're talking about now, right? Deflecting everything. Another thing that they do is when you're, when you're having a conflict with them, they will create a situation where you become defensive, where you're in reaction, where you are not able to express yourself and be heard. So then the defensiveness starts and it becomes a battle of who's right. Okay. Instead of listening empathically, of course, because they don't have empathy in which to do so. And instead of hearing your side or hearing your point of view and listening and speaking to you about the thing you're upset about, they will sort of counter your position. If you've had that happen, you know what I'm talking about? And use that as a sort of way to sort of attack back in the situation. Are these things familiar? Let me know in the comments what ways you've seen a narcissist project blame onto you. Another thing that they do is just flat out lie, omit things, pretend it didn't happen, lie about situations in order to get away with it. And when they're doing this, they're sort of omitting things, which then projects that you are the one not telling the truth. Does that make sense? Like by saying that it didn't happen, they're saying you're the one lying. This is a form of gaslighting. And you know, I know this is an odd time to say it, but if you've been gaslit, hit the thumbs up. Not because you like being gaslit, but because you've been there and you know what I'm talking about. Have you had a narcissist victim blame? Have you seen a narcissist become the victim where when you are in conflict with them, they have hurt you, they have emotionally manipulated you, they have created a whole lot of tension and stress between you and them through their gaslighting, through all of the things I was talking about here, right? And this continues on and on, and then suddenly they're the ones who were hurt because by the time you're in reaction, maybe you raised your voice, or maybe you ignored them, or maybe you didn't listen to their side because their side is full of gaslighting. And then they flip on the victim mode and they stay there. Narcissistic people in conflict, especially covert narcissists, they cannot take accountability because it'd be like saying they're wrong. It'd be like saying they're not amazing, great people who are the best things in the world. It would be like admitting that they have things to work on and that there are things in the relationship that are actually their fault. And they can't do that. They cannot do that because they need the world and the relationship to revolve around the way they are saying it should. They need to set the narrative for what the relationship looks like. They need the pretend world they live in to be the truth and for you to revolve around that and to accept that. They may even project narcissistic traits onto you. They may even tell you that you're gaslighting them or that you're projecting or that you see, this is the problem when we give them information about narcissistic abuse, right? And like fill their heads with information on what it looks like in the terms of narcissism and, and all of that they will flip it and make it seem like you're the one who's doing it. Another way they project is by triangulation. They will say, see, that person doesn't think that I'm a bad person. I don't have trouble with any other women. I don't have trouble with any other men. Most people like me. I don't know what's wrong with you. So they'll do these things to make you feel like you're the problem. The whole point of projection in this way is to point the finger back at you as being the one who's causing the problems. Instead of working together to create harmony in a relationship, the narcissist needs you to take all the weight, do all the heavy lifting, and do anything that it takes to change yourself to follow their narrative 
and have things go their way. And they need to get away with everything in the meantime. So if you need help with recovering from narcissistic abuse, or if you need someone to talk to, check out the information in the main description of every video for coaching and group coaching. And if you would like a place for peer support, there is also information there on Facebook groups that can help you to recover from this stuff and have someone and have some support. So check that out and I will see you guys next time. Take care.